on today's episode. So you return from the field and uh, you're all excited to view your latest uh, video capture and you plug in the the drive and you get this dreaded message. There's a problem. If we just wait. The window will open where we can view the contents of the card and uh, we look at our two recordings here and we look at the first one and all is good. So we can skip on through. So there's no problem with that one. If we then go to the second file, it can't be played. It's in a format we don't support, and you can try this with VLC Media Player or, in fact, anything else, and it's just not going to work because uh, I deliberately, in this case, but uh, forgot to stop the recording before um, powering off the quadcopter. Now, obviously, that could also happen if, in, in the event of a, a of a crash. If the uh, quadcopter stops then the file will be unviewable. Now the reason for that is similar to back in the day when you perhaps made a, a, a DVD. Although you could view it on the computer you couldn't put it into a DVD player until it was finalized. Now it's similar with these types of files, the, the MP4 files in this case, but also .move from other cameras that if you don't stop the recording um, properly the, uh, the the headers and information are not added to the file to make it playable uh, in, in a normal sense. So you're stuffed but what if this was um, something really important something that you captured that uh, you sim simply couldn't uh, couldn't recreate? Is there any way of recovering the files? Well thankfully yes there is. So here we have the uh, required program um, thanks to uh, Slidey Man and uh, I'm sure you'd appreciate it if you uh, sent a few bucks his way for his uh, hard work and you can uh, read all the all the good stuff here but essentially we go down to the bottom and here are the files that we need so you download this um, zip file and uh, once you've uh, gotten that uh, what I've done is to make a a folder on my desktop um, called recover strangely and uh, here are the unzipped files so you have the 64-bit version which is just called recover and then you have the 32-bit version the x86 so I should be using this version as it's a 64-bit machine um, the other thing that I've done is to write uh, just a just down here with here what the the commands are that we need to use uh, firstly we need a a good copy of a of a file so from your from your camera you've got a, a, a finalized version then we need a copy of that uh, once we've analyzed it it'll generate a couple of files which it then uses to build the um, the, the new um, output from the unfinalized file and this is the command here, the recover command. And what that will do is to generate um, a .h264 file, which is not playable by uh, by many things. So the final part of the of the trick is to uh, to use this ffmpeg software to convert the .h264 to an MP4 file that we can then play. So, going back to our folder here, we can see I've got a, a video which is uh, is working okay. So this is my finalized version. Uh, we can see a nice view of, uh, of the dry riverbed there and the old mill, no longer by a stream, Nelly Dean. So we have a finalized file there. We have an unfinalized one, the, 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 the native naming is hubsan obviously and then uh, a whole lot of other stuff so to make life easy just renamed that to uh, unfinalized so as i say it, the first thing we need to do is to analyze the the finalized file so uh, we're going to need this 
this line here. So I'll just copy that. Now, back in this window, if you make sure that there's, there's no files highlighted and you move it into some free space, if we hold down the Alt and Shift key and then right mouse click, we have the option to open a command window in this folder. Because obviously the commands that we're going to be executing uh, refer to the files in this folder. So I copied the, uh, the analyze command. So here it is. And if we just run that, it does a whole lot of good stuff. And obviously, uh, although it's an MP4 file from the HubSan, there is no audio. So um, that, that generates a, a, a null file, which we don't need to concern ourselves with. Um, the other file that it um, will create um, is this, um, this file, which is called, let's look in here, video.hdr, that's the one. So in the next part of the process, we will take the unfinalized file and create a file, a file called finalize.h264 and the recover command will use that uh, file that we've just generated to recreate the headers for this file. Now it could be noted here that you only have to do the analysis once. Once you have that um, video.hdr file, you can use that to, uh, to finalize any files provided that the source, i.e. the Hubson camera, is the same. If you choose to use this, um, you know, if you have a, a different type of camera or for dot .move files, then you'll need to create a different, uh, different version of video.hdr. So, here we have the command to recover the, and finalize the file. And we can see that it goes through frame by frame and that has generated for us a file called finalized.h264. So if we go down into our, into our folder here, we can now see this finalized file. Now normally this wouldn't be playable by, by many things. Uh, VLC can't play it, um, Windows Media Player can't play it, but there is this little program which is called Media Player Lite and we can just check before we go any further that it has recovered uh, the file. So it appears to, to have done that. So we have our finalized file. Oh, uh, just uh, by the way, uh, if, if you choose to, um, to use that Media Player Lite, this is the, the, the source of it. But I would advise caution because it, uh, it can um, offer you or in, install unless you uncheck the boxes it'll install other stuff that you perhaps don't don't want so just be aware of that so now as I say back to the the final part of the puzzle which is to convert our .h264 file back to an mp4 so here is the command that we need using the ffmpeg software now I will provide a link to the uh, to that software in the description as well. If we go back to our folder here, um, we can see the ffmpeg is in the folder below and we need to go to the binaries file. So this is where we're going to execute the, the program, uh, but I forgot. Apologies, what we need to do is to copy the finalized version into that folder. So let me cut it from there and we'll put it into the into the binary folder here. Paste. So now unhighlighting anything, it's the same trick as before, just go into some some white space, hold down the Alt and Shift key, right mouse click and open the command window in this folder for the ffmpeg. So now I need to go back and copy that line again. Let me just right mouse click and there's our command.
Now, depending on the length of the file that it's transcoding or, or whatever it's whatever it's called, um, this can take some time. So don't be surprised if this takes uh, a few minutes. Obviously, in the video, I will speed things up, but uh, this does take some time. So the FFmpeg process has finished now, and uh, it did take a few minutes, and there were numerous red lines, I guess, error messages, but um, it is what it is. Uh, as I said before, if there's something that um, you can't go back and do again, perhaps you've just kayaked down the, the Grand Canyon or something, um, then this is your only only choice. Now, going back into the FFmpeg files, we can see we have a now finalized uh, option with uh, the VLC on there. And there we can see the, uh, the video in the .mp4 file. Uh, how much of these aberrations were in the original, obviously we'll, we'll never know. Uh, I think most of it's down to my poor flying skills, but uh, there we are. Let's see what it would look like if we open it with a different, uh, different uh, program. So. some reason Windows Media Player seems to be making a better rendering of it than uh, VLC, which is interesting. So I hope you, hope you find that, uh, that uh, video useful and uh, at least you've got some method to recover your files um, should you need to.